When it comes to releasing games in other regions, there are a lot of different things that can change. Some games may have changes to the box art, for example, with the publishers normally feeling that a different marketing style may work better for that particular market. Other games may have changes to the game itself, such as characters being redesigned or more. However, sometimes there are even changes to the game's names, and this is also something that can be seen in a wide range of other media. The first Harry Potter book, for example, is known in its home country of England as Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This was then changed in the US for both the book and the movie to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, with the publishers thinking a US child would not want to read a book with the word philosopher in the title. There can be a wide range of different reasons for these types of changes, and today we'll be taking a look at 10 examples from video games and trying to work out why the name changes were made. To kick things off with number 10, Bully, which was changed in the UK to Canis Canum Edit, which is Latin for Dog Eat Dog. Bully is Rockstar's high school based open world title starring 15 year old Jimmy Hopkins. Rockstar's notoriety for creating games like the controversial Grand Theft Auto series led to the game being a big source of outrage in the media with politicians and it was also a target for attorney Jack Thompson and his infamous crusade against violent video games. The game was labelled as amongst other monikers a high school based bullying simulator and the controversy got so bad in the UK that Rockstar decided to change the name to try and reduce the tension. This was also all despite the fact that when release day came around, the game was discovered to be nothing like it was being described as. But moving on to number 9, Pac-Man. Whilst nowadays known all around the world as Pac-Man, it originally went by a different name over in Japan where the game was created. The Japanese arcade machines instead went by the name Puckman, but this was altered when it came to North America over fear of people vandalising the first letter and changing the P to an F. Later versions then decided to keep the North American name even in Japan. Number 8, Contra. For many years, people in most Europe European countries received a very different version of Konami's Contra series than those in Japan and the US. Most likely due to strict rules regarding video game violence over in Germany, Europe had new versions created that replaced the characters with robots. All human characters were removed, including both the heroes as well as the enemies. Going along with the game changes, the series was renamed to Probotector, with this most likely being seen as more futuristic and appropriate for the robot cast. These changes would then be made to all Contra games up until 1996's Contra Legacy of War. Number 7, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The United Kingdom used to have a rather peculiar set of media restrictions which set out to target certain ninja and martial arts content. The government had noticed an increase in Eastern style weaponry being used by UK gangs and feared that the rise of popularity of these types of movies and games were the cause. Media caught up in the crossfire include Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which had to be renamed in the UK to Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. This saw all Turtles products, including the comics, video games, and the toys renamed in the UK as well as some other European countries. This lasted up until the Turtles first feature film which was finally allowed to be called Ninja Turtles Worldwide. Number 6 Tomba Sticking with the European theme, the PlayStation's Tomba series had to have changes made to its name in Europe due to some unseen translation issues. When the Japanese developers settled on the name Tomba for their side-scrolling platformer adventure, it's unlikely that they realised that over in Italy, Tomba is the word for tomb, as in the tombs you find at graveyards. This was definitely not the impression that they wanted to give in the Italian market, with it being a cute and colourful game. So for all European countries, they changed the name to Tombi, which presumably has no big translation issues over in Europe. This is far from the first time that something like this has happened either. Mortal Kombat Deception, for instance, was changed to Mortal Kombat Mystification over in France. Why? Because the word deception is similar to the French word for disappointment, which is clearly not how they wanted people to perceive their game. Number 5, Puzzle Bobble. For this entry, we'll be discussing two different video game series and highlighting an unfortunate effect that can occur from changing the name of things. Puzzle Bobble was a very popular puzzle game that spawned numerous sequels and ports for various platforms. Puzzle Bobble, however, is its Japanese name, with it being renamed in Western countries to Bust a Move. It's not known why the decision to rename the series was made, but only a few years later, a different game would be released in Japan called none other than Bust a Move. This was a completely different series and is a music based rhythm game made by different developers. Due to Puzzle Bobble being renamed in the West, this forced the Bust a Move team to rename their title overseas to Bust a Groove instead. 
Number 4, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit was the second title from developers Quantic Dream, who are now very well known for their unique interactive movie style of video games, and titles such as Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. The French developers seem to have decided on the name Fahrenheit due to a theme within the story involving the world's temperature continuing to drop colder and colder. However, when the game was first released in the United States, there was some concern that this could confuse people with Michael Moore's Fahrenheit 9-11, a 2004 documentary taking a look at George W. Bush and the War on Terror. Not wanting to confuse anybody, the title was altered to Indigo Prophecy in the United States, with this title also having ties to the game's storyline. Interestingly, for the 2015 remastered version, Quantum Dream decided to use both titles for the game's name, calling it Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Remastered Worldwide. Number 3, Resident Evil. Capcom's best-selling video game franchise, Resident Evil, is not the title's original name over in Japan. Ever since the title's 1996 PlayStation debut, the franchise has instead been dubbed Biohazard in its home country. When bringing the original game over to the West, Capcom's marketing department realised that there had already been a recent DOS game released under the name Biohazard, not to mention there being a rather popular New York rock band going by the same name. The US team were tasked with finding a new name, and the eventual winner would be Resident Evil, with this being a pun on the first game being set in a mansion. Comparable to Fahrenheit, the much later Resident Evil 7 decided to pay homage to both of its titles, with it being dubbed Resident Resident Evil 7 Biohazard in the West, and Biohazard 7 Resident Evil in Japan. The game's producer, Masashka Kawata, explained this decision speaking to Capcom Unity, stating, We really want to have the big impactful feeling of the series being in one place right now, and having one future is heading towards. To do that, we brought the two titles together into one with Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. It's the opposite in Japan, it's Biohazard 7 Resident Evil. Number 2, Star Fox. As we've already gone into now, copyright issues with already existing names can be a big reason for things being changed. The same is true for the classic Nintendo franchise Star Fox, which was given a new name for the European release of the first two games. The developers have explained that this was due to Nintendo higher ups being afraid of a German company called Star Vox suing over similarities, adding that with a thick German accent, a F could possibly be heard as resembling the letter V. This led to 1993 Star Fox being renamed in Europe to Star Wing, 1997 Star Fox 64 be renamed to Lilat Wars. Fortunately for the devs though, the issue seemed to eventually go away, with either the German company going out of business, or Nintendo's lawyers simply no longer worrying about a possible lawsuit. This saw 2002 Star Fox Adventures and all following games being released as Star Fox for all regions. Number 1, Fatal Frame. And for our last game for today, we'll be taking a look at a series that has had a different name in Japan, Europe, and the United States. Fatal Frame is Koi Tecmo's popular and long-running survival horror series that tasks players with finding ghosts in various various creepy locations through the use of a special camera. The camera mechanic, which is also used for fighting the ghosts, is the reason why the US localizers decided to rebrand it as Fatal Frame, with them likely feeling this would be a more interesting name for US audiences. Over in Japan though, the franchise has a completely different name. Here, the series is simply known as the kanji character for the number zero. There is a deeper meaning behind it than that though. The word for zero in Japanese can have a different meaning depending on the kanji used. One of these kanji can also mean spirit, or or ghost, and so the Japanese title is sort of like a pun on the word ghost. Keeping this in mind, it's rather curious how the name was changed over in Europe. You see, the European franchise keeps the Zero part of the name unlike the US, however the European series goes by the longer name Project Zero instead. It's speculated amongst fans that this may have been some sort of mistranslation or miscommunication, as the development team that worked on the game are also known as Project Zero too. It's also interesting to point out that over in Japan all of the games are not numbered due to the creator feeling that they are standalone games with minimal connections to previous titles. This was however changed when the games were released over in the US and Europe. But that's all we have time for for today. Let us know of any more examples that you can think of in the description below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. And until next time, thank you for watching.